Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be for May 2021. I am releasing these a little bit early so it can be from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your message and pull your overarching card. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, in money and career only, angels, spirits, guides, May 2021, please. Message for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you, May 2021. Well, I like seeing that for money and career. We have the page of coins, okay. That is your overarching energy, Sagittarius. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Oh my goodness, I love this card. It's linked with a page of coins and it's happiness. And you can see the butterfly there, Sagittarius. The butterfly represents transformation. So emerging from one phase of your life to another, transformation is happening that is bringing real happiness. Oh, love those cards together. Okay. And angels, what is the message for Sagittarius? Thank you. Message for Sagittarius. So we have face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released those self-doubts. Wow, that's a powerful message. Okay, Sagittarius, so those are your overarching cards. Let's pull the tarot cards and see what we get. So I'm going to pull five cards. Starting with the challenge position. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please, in Money Career Finances for May 2021, Angel Spirits Guide. So the Three of Pentacles in the challenge position. The Tower is what's going for you. Interesting. Eight of Swords is Obstacles to Overcome. Ten of Wands, Sagittarian Energy, is Advice from Spirit. And the Five of Wands is your Outcome. So I'm going to clarify this Tower. Let's clarify this Tower, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify this Tower for Sagittarius. Thank you. I've got Justice. Justice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start here. There has been some disharmony. It feels with people that you've been working with. Generally, the Three of Pentacles can be the beginnings of success, but in the challenge position, uh, it can be about teamwork collaboration, but in the challenge position, that, that, that idea is challenged. So it definitely feels for some of you, you're either struggling to manifest material success the beginnings of and it can sometimes be the three of pentacles can be new material success or it can be there's some disharmony with teammates co-workers or you know could be bosses call it what you will you know it feels like there's some disharmony within a team or a partnership or call it what you will and that's what i'm feeling quite strongly here Yeah. Be 
because for some of you, I mean, the tower for me sometimes can be the pandemic, um, but it could be also a source of disharmony, it could have caused some, call, some kind of tower moment. And interestingly enough, justice comes out when fairness and balance needs to be restored. So there's this energy here, Sagittarius, of there's been big change in your money career finances. I get this idea of you're trying to manifest new success, but I'm also getting this energy of there has been some disharmony. You know, justice is a read what you sow card. You could have had legal situation, you could have uh, sought legal advice or you know, this can be legal, legal institutions, government institutions here. Um, and generally, the justice card is the truth is on your side. Um, a decision that you might be waiting on may go in your favour. You know, and it could well be to do with whatever this tower moment was. Because whatever this tower moment was, it required the help of justice. But there's definitely an energy of the universe rights wrongs, you know, actions have consequences, both good and bad, you know, are rewarded in kind. And for some of you, there's definitely this karmic energy, I'm definitely feeling this, but also an energy of you may have had some legal issues that you needed to resolve because some tower moment happened. And the tower is essentially the tower, it can be a destructive energy, it can be a revelation, a truth, a rude awakening, sudden change in your circumstances that felt beyond your control. And that's why you need justice, because you need the law of the land to restore harmony from the instability of what that tower created. So I'm definitely getting in this energy, yeah. It definitely feels for some of you what's going for you is the truth is on your side. Any wrong will be righted and it feels to do with team or a partnership. Let's clarify this three of pentacles. Yeah. Three of swords, which is a card of emotional pain, hurt, wounds. But in the challenge position, it is about those swords coming out now. Uh, it can be to do with betrayal, a truth, a painful truth coming to light, you know. Um, yeah, maybe it, it can also represent some kind of breakup in terms of a partnership or collaboration. But you were hurt by this. I mean, I, I sense this energy anyway. You were hurt by this. Could have affected your health here as well. Obstacles to overcome. The Eight of Swords is a card of... I'm definitely getting this energy here, Sagittarius, of uh, it can be a card of inhibited thinking where we focus on the negative. The negative owns us and keeps us stuck. It's how we become a prisoner of the mind. The swords is to do with the mind, how we perceive something, our thoughts, reflections, perspectives. And this is the mind is keeping you hostage by focusing on the negative. When there is expansive energy around this person, it's Jupiterian energy. So there's definitely an energy of opening up your mind now, opening up to all new perspectives. It can, we sometimes get the Eight of Swords when we feel that things are futile beyond our control. But it feels, it, you know, this energy has not been easy. It's not been easy to deal with. It's not been easy at all. I'm definitely getting that energy um, because it has been a huge burden. But, and it's something that you've been carrying. And, you know, the Ten of Wands can be a burden that's built up over time, something that you've been carrying here. 
and all of a sudden it feels like you need help to sort a situation out. Something that might not have been fair here and something that's very difficult to, to get perspective to move on from. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius is Sagittarian energy. You have been tested. This is the Saturnian energy of being tested. Um, it's been a testing journey for you. It really has. But it's a ten. And a ten, the, the spirit tells you this is a ten because it feels the burden is soon to be over. Uh, you can soon put down these burdens and move forward, it feels, with your life. It just feels like you've just had such a difficult time. Because the Five of Wands is conflict. Something going round and round in circles. It's like a roundabout that you can't get off. You know, everybody wanting to have their say. Everybody wanting to win an argument. One person to be heard over somebody else. And I feel it's to do with this justice situation. However, with this, the truth is on your side. Yeah, I mean, it's been a period of conflict and struggle. Uh, bad feeling, resentments, not being on the same pages as the people. Uh, it, it, you know, this can be a bit of a heated energy as well, Sagittarius. But there's definitely an energy of a weight is about to be lifted. And now we bring in this, which is the page of coins. Which is a message or news to do with a new opportunity in finance or career. So I feel some of you are getting a new job. Some of you are getting a new job. Quite rightly too, because you don't want to stay at a place like this. Um, it feels justice is on your side. And now is the time to open your mind to focus on what is going to bring you growth. What is going to bring you stability? What is going to bring you um, a newfound sense of value as well? And this page of coins is the message to do with an opportunity, financial career. It feels in this energy, Sagittarius, any payouts that you might be getting, you might be getting a payout, a legal payout as well. Um, but I'm definitely getting in this, yeah, it might well be you're hearing on some kind of legal payout. But it's bringing happiness. You know, after that Three of Swords energy, the Tower, and finally justice is, is it feels is on your side. There is transformational happiness here. Yeah. So there's definitely an energy of don't, don't fear anything because it feels that the truth is on your side. I'm going to pull um, a card for this happiness. Let's get a card for this happiness for Sagittarius. Very difficult reading, Sagittarius. I feel some of you have really been through the mill. I feel you're getting a legal payout. And it feels to do with work related. I mean, you know, this can be partnerships, collaborations as well in whatever context. But it, it feels in this situation, something's caused you a lot of pain and hassle. Let's clarify this happiness card, please, angel spirits, guides for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So being ready to step into the unknown. Yeah, I love it. Sagittarius, you're at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're ready to make choices about your future. I'm definitely getting this energy of there could be some decision that goes in your favour here. And what it's allowing you to do is just saying, right, I am putting that behind me. I am getting back on the horse and I am charging ahead. Because that's what the Sagittarian Knight of Wands does. Um, I'm ready for new adventures. I'm ready to bring change to my life. I'm feeling empowered and I'm going for my passions, my desires, you know, opportunity now. And again, the Two of Wands can be about choices about your future. 
making some clear choices about your future. The Knight of Wands can also be opportunity as well coming in. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy, this page of coins. I feel for some of you, you're getting a new job. After some justice is served. Yeah. So very nice energy. I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah, we have Otter Initiations. Be open through this transitional time. And that's what you need to do with the Eight of Swords. Just surrender. Be open to all that comes your way. Find your flow. And know that you're being held by the universe. You know, it's lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you. And I will see you next time. Thank you.